Welcome back to facts. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> back to facts with okay. your hosts, Caroline. And I don't Jess. know what's so funny. Um, <laughs> so, so today, we're going to be talking about something I never in my fucking life thought we'd be talking about. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Um, if you could tell by the, um, by the, by the title, we're going to be talking about Formula One. And... Let me just let me just start with one thing. <laughs> I think like two no one and a month ago a month ago. Oh, so the date of filming is Tuesday, November twenty second of November two thousand twenty two. So if Which, anything changes, so we these don't are know. thoughts and opinions as of the twenty second of November. If shit happens, it doesn't reflect. Just let our hands know. are clean. Are they? So <laughs> um, let me just say. say, say it started a month ago, like a month ago ish, yeah. when we were FaceTiming and she was showing me TikToks through FaceTime, which is fucking crazy actually that you can do that. It's amazing. And she was like, look at this video I found from Ferrari, from, from Ferrari about like Charles Leclerc, I think. It yeah, was. I will put, um, if you're watching this on YouTube, I will put the clip in here. Ah, uno, due. So you can see what the fuck I'm yeah. talking about because first of all, no, first of no, all, let me, Ferrari let me finish. knows what yeah. the fuck they're doing on TikTok. They yeah. fucking know. They do. But she was like, yeah, it's with some, fa it's some fa Formula One thing. And I was like, yeah, that's Charles Leclerc for a Formula One driver. Like, Why the fuck do you know this like Formula One shit? I'm like, well, I kind of grew up to with that. To be fair though, I did ask because you've never talked about it. So it was weird to me that you knew what it yeah. was. Because I think with Formula One, from what I've like gathered in the, in the past month, <laughs> either you know or you don't. Yeah. Right? Like the people who don't know, don't, don't know. know. Because before this, I wouldn't be able to tell you more than like <clears throat> Red Bull. I knew was a Formula One team, and I knew Ferrari. I would assume Mercedes. like no, I didn't know Mercedes. Oh, I would have okay. assumed that like Lamborghini was a was a like to me that was mm -hmm. what it was, right? Okay. Um, so for me, it's different because I grew up with it in a sense that my dad was always watching it every yeah. single time. But you're not like a Formula <clears throat> One. I'm not the crazy fan, you know. Okay, but. Let me just get this straight. There's like three types of people. The one <laughs> who's like crazy over obsession. The I one. Judged. No, you're not that. Okay. The, I, I, so the, the A group is the one who's like watching the matches, not the matches, the races all the time. I've watched Knows the last everything. two races. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and then there's one who's like watching it occasionally. He knows, or oh, she, they know all the background knowledge about it like me i know pretty much all the things and you when you mention formula one i can talk about it you yeah. know and there's one of the there's the c category who don't give a shit also you can hear vacuuming i in feel the like i'm a mix between the first and the second right now yeah yeah so the thing is <clears throat> so how i got into it was ferrari posted the video the tiktok of charles Look like being attractive. Yes. <laughs> and then I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> what the fuck is Sorry. this? And then I started like getting into it and I started, you know, learning about these other drivers like Carlos and Daniel Ricciardo. Also, is it Ricciardo or Ricardo? Because I've heard it said both ways. I think it's Ricardo. Yeah, but other people say Ricciardo because it is spelled Ricciardo. Yeah, but you have to, how he says it, that's how you can say it. I've never heard him say his own name, other than, oh. hi, I'm Daniel, <laughs> I'm a car mechanic. <laughs> um, no, but then I started to get into it, and the thing is, for me, if you're cute, I'll watch. <laughs> and they just, and that's the thing. And they just happen to have a lot of really good-looking drivers. drivers. And then I started getting more into it because I was like, again, this is based off of TikTok. The first week, everything is just based off of TikTok. And I started, they're, they're quite funny. Yeah. Like they're very funny with each other. And then I think you get kind of this like 
these are just boys being boys. Like these are boys who just liked fast cars and now they get to just be around fast cars the whole day. Like they're living their fucking dream. And they're just all, they're very funny in a non-toxic way. The way they act with each other, at least outside of like racing, is very non-toxic masculinity. It's just very much boys having fucking fun and mm -hmm. like getting to do grown-up things that children would love to do yeah like they do their little racing simulators they're on twitch they're like doing they, they're just having fun and i think because it's such an innocent like fun it's hard not to find it entertaining the thing with formula one is that now Formula One had their incline and they, they, it was a roller coaster always. Yeah. And the thing with this popularity is that back in the days when I was watching it with my dad as well, you know, it was really popular. And then came like five years, which really just went down in a way that not, um, the, not a lot of people watched it because of the rules. It was always just one team winning all the time. And now especially when they started the Netflix series and they, and they added the American race as well, it went so up again. And especially because with these new drivers, new generation, they are young, they are fresh, and they are like Gen Z or... Like I said, they're funny that. to watch. One thing... And they are like a person because they have all their social media and, and they just that's engage. That's what I was going to say is because a lot of people <clears> are like, oh, Netflix brought Formula One back. I don't think... Again, I wasn't here when it was mm -hmm. gone. Like, so I don't, you know... know. It happened a lot, but, but it wasn't that. What I think it was is that, yeah, the Netflix show probably did gain some older viewers who came back and it probably yeah. gained them some new viewers. But what I really think Netflix did is that it set it up to show the same way that if you look at football teams you have the high profile players who have their own brand like yeah. Ronaldo is his own brand Messi is his own brand what they did here is they created a togetherness brand of all the boys uh recently they went out for dinner in Abu Dhabi and you got the whole you know driver's team but they also created individual profiles. Like you take Daniel, whatever the fuck you want to pronounce his last name. And he's funny, he's sassy, he's very, you know, comedic. Um, you take Lando Norris who has all these, like now he's DJing, he's doing, you know, all these things. They're now becoming their own person, okay. person and athletes. Like they're no <clears throat> longer, like Carlos is not just a driver for Ferrari. He's Carlos who drives for Ferrari. Mm -hmm. So it becomes this like now you you have the teams and you have the drivers and you can kind of put it together. Yes. Um, I think um, especially with with the Netflix series, the, the good and the fun part about that is that in season three, I think you get to introduce to Lando Norris, who's, who's just done it, is, by the way. Yeah, and it's, it's just, I think it's really cute in a way that they, they, everything was documented when they started the whole thing. Yeah. And you can see clearly that Lando Norris was started when he just got his driver's license, like at 18. Mm -hmm. And he's a little boy and now he's been in the Formula One for like four years, I think. Yeah. And I think that was pretty smart of the Netflix as well, that you can just see the whole journey yeah. and then you can relate to them and then you I feel mean, like you know them. I have only watched one episode because <laughs> if you've watched our previous uh, podcast episode, I'm busy, bitch. Like, I got shit to do. <laughs> um, but I do find it very entertaining. Um, however, though, and we've discussed, I've discussed this with a, with a couple of people, actually. Um, are you a fan of the team? Mm. Or are you a fan of the drivers? Um, like, because now we have Daniel Ricciardo moving to Red Bull. So he's yeah. no longer in... McLaren. McLaren. <laughs> he's no longer at McLaren. <clears throat> so are you... I'm not a McLaren fan. I'm not a Daniel fan either. I have others. <laughs> I have other top one and twos. But like, if you were a Daniel... Like, are you... A, you know what I mean? Like, if you're a fan mm. of McLaren, but you really like Daniel, are you then going to follow him to Red Bull? Or are you like... To be honest, I think it changed a lot and shifted a lot now because with all these good drivers. Because someone, my friend at work, who's, who's, who's worked in motorsport his whole life, he was saying, 
well, based on what I was saying, I was probably a Ferrari fan. And I was like, well, I'm not a Ferrari fan because if Carlos and Charles moved, if they both moved from Ferrari, I don't, I don't give a fuck about Ferrari. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the drivers. Mm-hmm. So I would follow them. But it's like, if you were to go watch Formula One, what merch are you wearing? <laughs> I think a lot of the times, uh, <laughs> a lot of the times it depends on the person. Like, there's nothing you can say that it Yeah, but there are everyone. some people who are, like, McLaren <laughs> fans or Red Bull fans. Yeah, for example, my dad. Mercedes. I know I have yeah. some, um, like, cousins who... And I don't know if they really like Lewis Hamilton or if they're Mercedes fans. I think a lot of people, especially older ones, can relate more to teams. For example, with, like, uh, Nicky Lauda. He was, yeah. he was uh, working for Mercedes as well. Mercedes. Mercedes. And... It's just, for older people, I think it's more like the team. Yeah, because there's also a lot of fucking politics. There is so... Oh, and that's, There's so much drama That's what about really it. gripped me in, because you know a bitch loves some gossip. <laughs> um, the drama mm. and the politics in this sport is unmatched. Like, footballers can fuck off. Your little, like, wanky toe that you stubbed and you're now laying on the ground crying, move over. Mm. Okay, because we have like mixed communications. We have no commute. Like it is crazy. It is crazy, and it's also like it there is was such a dangerous. Sport. There was a very recent race where they were asking Carlos like why he didn't let uh, him overtake. Mm-hmm. He was like, if they had told me over the radio, I would have been the first to listen. Yeah, and that's where it's like, well, why did nobody tell him? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love it though. It's so gossipy, and 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 it's also. Wait. Next time you want to gossip, <laughs> you should try our drink of the week. <laughs> Make my notes. You should okay. try our drink of the week. Sure. See, that was an okay transition. Yeah. I've, I've, we've definitely done better, but we have definitely uh, also done worse. worse. That's true. Drink of the week is apple jack, which is with apple brandy, grapefruit juice, grenadine, and lemon. I don't know that word. I don't know what I don't know that word either. I think I misspelled it. It's <laughs> lemon juice. Okay. <laughs> lemon. So this doesn't sound bad. No, it actually sounds. I mean, pretty I probably good. wouldn't order it, but if someone served it to me, I would probably take a sip. I think the name is worse than the ingredients. You know what I mean? Like apple they, jack to me sounds good. That's like yeah? a cinnamon okay. apple type of thing. I think it's a cereal. yeah. Okay, because. F- this ingredient sounds sour and like sweet, which I would love to try. I love sweet and sour stuff. Um, so yeah, apple jack was traditionally produced from uh, hard cider because it was an everyday drink back uh, in America around the 18th century because the water was not that good, yeah. and so it was water drink alcohol. yeah. So it was. It, <laughs> It's uh, basically the water was shit. The the beer was expensive. <laughs> the beer was shit. The gin was shit. <laughs> no, but like yeah, the water was shit. The beer was expensive, and the Human apple and shit. the apple the apple cider you can just make it at home for cheap. So that's why people were drinking it, and that just created this whole night uh, when one night. The story goes that one night someone decided to put grapefruit juice and grenadine in it. I'm like, thanks. That's every drink history. Every drink in the fucking world. Someone randomly decided. Someone decided. randomly. Yeah, so thanks. But yeah, um, it's a really, it's a very uh, sour and sweet drink. You can drink it uh, with a lot of ice in during the summer, during the spring or in the winter if you want. I don't judge. Um, I do. Do do. So yeah, try it out if you like sour ones. If especially with the grapefruit juice, it can be a little bitter as well. But I think it sounds really nice. You can check the recipe on our Instagram at FaxBC and the recipe highlights and also in our website thefaxbc.com and let us know if you try it. Yeah, for real. For real. If you make it, <laughs> show it. Uh back to Formula One. Um <laughs> so Formula One for her now, she is obsessed with. Like, if you would, if you would have to rank, there's like five you're obsessed with. Yeah. Like five favorite yeah. ones. Yeah. It's. Can you rank them? 
<laughs> it's Carlos Sainz, 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 not quite sure. Sainz. Uh, yeah, no, but I've heard other people say Sainz. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Charles Leclerc, Leclerc, not French, not Monegasque. It is what it is. Um, Lena Norris, mm -hmm. Daniel Ricardo. And then I would actually say the like last spot is like a little bit between uh, Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. I really like George Russell. What about Pierre? Maybe if he fixed his <laughs> if he fixed his beard, I mean he's up there. Mm -hmm. I can maybe do like a top ten. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because then we have Pierre Gasly, um, who is also cute. Um, Kevin Magnussen, obviously, he's Danish. Denmark. He's Danish. Um, <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Whenever we touch the, so this is on the table. Every time yeah. we touch it, it uh, fucks up. Yeah, I like hit it. <laughs> and then I don't think Max Verstappen is attractive, but I do feel like he could beat me up in like a nice way. He's a really good driver. He, he is. is really competitive. And see, this is where I've learned about the politics thing because apparently the Verstappen are like infamous for having like a motto that basically says it's better to die than to lose. Mm. So people like stay away from him like when they can because he will just cry. <laughs> he does. That's what I've heard. He Again, does. all of this, none of this is factual. I mean, it's facts, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it's not fact. Like this is all opinions, rumors, whatever. Mm. If you are really into Formula One and you have things to correct, let me, let me fucking know. Like mm -hmm. I would love to know. The, the thing with uh, the Netflix show as well, that you can see that there's so much rivalry between the teams. But I feel like with the drivers, it's a very healthy, The drivers are fine. It's a very healthy competitiveness. Yes. Uh, I saw one clip. I don't know if this was YouTube or TikTok or YouTube or like whatever. Mm -hmm. Netflix, YouTube, whatever. I don't know. But it was one of the drivers being like, fuck, like I hate that he is before me. Like he's so good. And it was never in like, oh, I hope he loses. It was been like, he's so good, I want to be better. Like, that's the type of competition. It's not, mm -hmm. I hate him, he's better than me, uh, he cheated. It's, I, yeah. he's a good driver and I want to be better than him. Yeah. But not that he should be worse, but that I want to be better. Especially with the, I, I always say new ones, they are not new ones, they've been in Formula 1 for like four years, but the younger ones, yeah, I but say. The thing is, like, how old is Charles III? Like 23, 22? He's 25. George Russell is really? 24. Lando Norris is 23. Yeah, I know, I know, but they are still like, for, yeah, okay, so younger generation. That's Something how I would say. I've also noticed is that a lot of these drivers, it's like in their family. Like their yeah. whole family does it. Uh, I know yeah. Charles' little brother, Arthur is also like doing it and Max Verstappen's like entire family. Mm. And it's so funny to me because these motorsport people in general, it's like your whole family does it. It's either your whole family or you're the only one. But also you have to have money to be able to get into motorsports. That's such an expensive hobby to have. Yeah. Football, Formula all you need is, is a ball, right? Form like Yeah. <laughs> With Formula One, it's always crazy that you have to bring your sponsors and a lot of the times drivers in the beginning especially drivers are paying so they can drive in the team yeah but then they don't get paid they get money from yeah but are you talking in when like before formula one because i don't think charles leclerc is paying to drive for ferrari not now i don't know i don't know if they ever did because you get not i don't know about him but some of the times there's a lot of like because um, I know that there are different there's Formula Two there's like different ranks of it I'm Formula sure three, in the yeah. like early ranks because to me it wouldn't make sense as well for someone to pay to be a third driver. It yeah the thing is that there's so so little space that you have to be there just in case. They yeah, need but you. isn't that more of how like because you know you're not just going from nobody to Formula One. You're no, starting you have in, to in be, the lower groups. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna assume you get picked because you're a good driver because Ferrari you couldn't pay them enough money for them to lose. Like, no, you're not a good driver. Yeah, you, you have to be a good driver. You have to yeah, uh, yeah. You have to be a good driver. <laughs> That's the bare minimum. <laughs> also, I wonder. I do you think they're good drivers in like normal cars? Yeah. Really? You think yeah, so? I think so. Because I would assume they might not like really know how to drive slowly. Normally. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, can no, they drive normally? I, I'm pretty sure they are in a way that like they can, 
Because yeah, a Formula One car is totally different. Yeah, because it's not car. even a car. It's 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 a go kart with like extracurriculars on it. <laughs> it's not a fucking car, and I'm tired yeah. of people being like, "Oh, they're dr no, they're not. It's not a car." Also, there's no. How do you start a Formula One car? Is there is there a key? No. Like, can someone go take a key and steal it? <laughs> like, how do you start a Formula they One? They always had it on their key. Is there like a little push push to start? Like, is it push that's to start? Actually, is it a mechanic? Is it like like we were talking about it yesterday? Yeah. Is it over Wi Fi? I think it's, is it I connected think it's via with, Bluetooth. I think it's with computer, to be honest. I think it's with a computer. Yeah, but then if it's via computer, what if what if the servers go down? Like, it what does, do you do? It doesn't go down. It's not like a MacBook that you connected. <laughs> the computer. Computer. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant like I meant like you, it's not like you connect your MacBook to your Formula One car and you're like, ah, it's not it. But yeah, to be honest, you have someone in the ground connecting to Bluetooth. <laughs> Oops. The Bluetooth connection. And Charles has already started the race. <laughs> but we were also talking yesterday about that if you have the girlies. If you have the girlies, you have everything. And that's what they... That's what they that's fucking what did. They that's, have now. that's what Ferrari is doing on their TikTok. Also, yes. Formula One in general, their TikTok. Formula One's TikTok is lit. And it's because, mm. you know, you have the boys who are interested because it's fast cars. You have the girls because it's half-naked men going into ice water. Mm. Like, period, queen. Period. And the edits, amazing. The girlies, the... Listen, I want to say a big thank you to the girlies on TikTok mm. for making POEs and making edits. Y'all are doing the fucking Lord's God's work. work. <laughs> like, I... I'm so thankful every morning when I wake up and I see like a Carlos edit, I'm like, period. Period. It, As it should be, King. As it should be. It when was I so funny when you called me one of the days when I was at work probably and you were like, also I'm getting into Formula One. And I was like, what do you mean by that? Because <laughs> if you mean... <laughs> Then you're gonna be one of those like crazy people. I am watching the uh, the races now, but that's because it's interesting. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. not interesting, it's, it, but it is interesting. It is interesting. I, I the thing I also <laughs> I'm sick and tired of people calling this a sport. I know they have to be fit and whatever, but ultimately the winner is the fastest car because if you have the best motor on earth. And, you know, Haas or whatever can only spend half that money. No matter how good of a driver Haas has, I know that there are circumstances where, you know, the underdog has won and all this shit. But that's why they changed the rules. Because that's Yeah, I know. Was, there was an interview yeah. where someone was asked, like, what would you do? And someone said, we should do equal, like, cars. And I think Lewis Hamilton was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I guess Mercedes is a little bit of a bitch. Also, apparently Red Bull is the mean girl. Of Formula One, uh, they don't I like just love, I just Christian love, Horner. No, I just love that they have this beef between Mercedes and and uh, the way Renault. You say Mercedes annoys me a little bit. Good, like I'm gonna be honest. Good, <laughs> finally, <laughs> like a little bit. Mercedes. Speaking of annoying, uh, song of the week <laughs> goes by Justin Bieber. You are such a Bieber girl. I've never been a Bieber girl. I'm never what? in my life been a Bieber girl. Never. Like you've been in concert like two times. No, I've seen him one time, oh. and that was because my mom bought tickets. <laughs> I thought you were a Bieber girl. Oh, I'm ew. No, I was never a Bieber girl. I was a Bieber <laughs> ew, no. Girl. No, listen, when B Justin Bieber first started, I was a hater. No, yeah. I was a hater. Why? I don't know because I was a sad. That was girl. cool. Because <laughs> <laughs> this was middle school, and I was cooler than everybody else. I don't know. I was a hater. Okay. I can admire him now. He's not my type. Um, mm -hmm. like looks wise <laughs> um and i like some of his music but i'm not never have been a believer i think some mm -hmm. of his he has some good bops you know what mm -hmm. i mean like mm -hmm. sorry mm -hmm. bitch bop that shit in the club we're ready to go anyways mm -hmm. ghost by justin bieber uh first of all do i need to do an intro on justin bieber no no so i'm not going to uh <laughs> instead i think i'll explain why i chose ghost out of his you know 700 song yeah roster um, a little background information, Ghost is off of his 2021 album, Justice, which also features songs Peaches and Lonely. The entire album to me is very bittersweet. Uh, and I think it gave us kind of a different perspective on mm -hmm. Mr. Bieber. A vibe. 
Uh, the album contains songs about himself, his relationship to his wife, his past relationships, uh, the song Lonely, being about feeling lonely, Deserve You, being about not feeling like you deserve your partner, and Peaches, being about sex. I mean, mm. this album has everything. Uh, Ghost is about losing someone in your life and having to deal with only having the memories of them left. Um, and I think it's a really sad song, but it has a really upbeat, like, vibe. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of weird. <laughs> Um, because on one side, I want to, like, cry, and on the other side, I'm like, let's go to the film. <laughs> uh, anyways, I think it's a great song, and my favorite lyric is, I know you crossed a bridge that I can't follow, because it kind of alludes to, like, you're missing someone who left, uh, but in, not in, like, a negative way, it's like, you crossed the bridge, but I, I couldn't follow you to where you wanted to go. Um, he did say this was about his grandma dying, which makes it very sad. For me, it's about, you know, friendship you've, you've lost. Um, I think it's a good song. And if you want to listen more Justin Bieber, but don't know where to start, here are my top three. All That Matters to Me, Sorry, and Maria. Maria from one of his very early albums. Listen to Ghost and my other recommendations on the playlist songs of the week by Caroline with two E's, WBU on Spotify. The link can be found on our website, www.thefactspc.com. It can also be found on our Instagram, at FactsBC, where there's a link with all our other links. <laughs> oh um, my god. <laughs> see, oop, that shook. Not an earthquake. This me. <laughs> this me being clumsy. But yeah, Formula One, I think it's exciting. I'm excited to like get into it. I love it. I love that you... You just like it because for once, I'm not crushing on a murderer. And for once, you're not crushing on fictional characters. First of all, we don't need to go there. <laughs> we don't need to These go people there. actually exist. We don't need to go there. We don't need to go there. <laughs> we kind of already there. Well. <laughs> but listen, I think... I don't even know what we talked about in this episode. Like, I don't even really know what the there was. There was no, like... There's no golden thread. No. We just kind of talking shit. You uh, were, to be honest... Shaking the camera again. Sorry. I was... <laughs> <laughs> our whole our whole thing is that what, what are we even doing? <laughs> Period. Anyways, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Spotify. Follow us on all our other social media where you can find all our other social media. And let us know if you want us to go in a We can do dive. a part. I can do a deep dive. I can do oh, a yeah, deep she dive. Can. I can do a deep dive. Maybe if I say it one more time, people will get it. I can do a deep dive in Formula One and I'll gladly do it, bitch. And if you're getting into Formula One, call me. Good. <laughs> Call her. If you she are, can talk if about you, it all day you know, all work night. for Formula One, if you hit us up, are if you a have free tickets for Ferrari, <laughs> let Charles me know. Darling, if you're watching this, I'm free and open. Mm, you can just come to Barcelona. They do come to Barcelona. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, all right. I don't. Again, I don't know where this. Charles, is going. hit her up. Or Carlos. <laughs> Or, or Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Maybe we will do a part two. I'm kidding, kind of. Yeah, she's not. Bye. Bye.